Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm doing a quick video. I just wanna go over how to use the ZTE Axon M. This is the first uh, foldable phone and um, it does run Android Nougat 7.0 and I just wanna go over some of the basics on how to use the phone. Um, you have this button right here that's always gonna be on your home screen or, or on any screen. And basically by tapping this, it allows you to control the display um, what you want to see, what you can see per display, basically. Um, so right now we are in the full screen mode. So it's basically extending our first display, which is this one. But now if we go to the first option here, this is the mirror option, which just mirrors whatever you have on the first screen. This is the ideal mode where you want to use the um, sort of kickstand mode because whatever, whatever you see on one side, the person will see on the other side as well. So this is really great for like, if you wanted someone to watch a YouTube video, guess what they could see, you could see it, um, or presenting something, or just sitting and watching a video. Now, we can also tap that button and say, hey, you know what, I just wanna see on my display. So in that case, we would tap this uh, option at the top, which basically will cut off the back screen and it'll just uh, utilize the front screen, okay? And then we have the other option, which is A, B, which is having something separate on the uh, bottom screen and the top screen. So in this case, let's say I want to watch a YouTube video. I could hit YouTube here, and then I could have something else playing on here. Now, if you wanna move something from this screen to this screen, um, you use three fingers and you just swipe it, just like that. And it'll move it from the one screen to the other. And now, I can have something else open. Let's say I want to have uh, Instagram open, for example. I could be on Instagram while this video is playing. Now, you gotta be a little careful. So I did notice there's a game that I was playing called uh, Ticket to Ride. And when I play this game, because this game has audio, it wouldn't allow me to listen to the YouTube video at the top here. Now, I did notice that it's not every single app that does this, but there's certain apps that again may have an override for audio where if you if you have that open then you won't be able to hear the audio from the video if you want the video to be playing at the top while you doing something else at the bottom so just be aware of that um so for example i would like do you know web browsing down here and then i would have you know hulu at the top here or netflix something like that so you definitely can do a split screen mode where you're watching a video and then you're web browsing down here. You just need to be mindful that certain games and certain apps with audio um, have a little bit of issue with that. So just be aware of that. And then if I want to control this display, I'm just going to tap up here and my navigation controls will move up here. So then I can guess what? I can easily switch to another app up here. And if I tap down here, my navigation controls are gonna move back down here as well, which will allow me to again, switch and do something different at the bottom here. So just a couple of, um, you know, different configurations that you may see. Um, it does kind of mirror like a, a Game Boy when you have it in this mode right here. So there's that. I'll hit the home button down here, and it's gonna take this screen back to home. If I tap up here, then I can hit the home button as well, and it'll take that one back to our uh, search, our apps button. Now, if you wanna use an app in full screen, what I recommend is you know open it at the bottom first, and then tap the M, and then hit um, this option right here, and that's gonna take you into full, full screen mode that will allow you to fully utilize the display. Page stopped loading, so we'll have to reload that. But the full screen mode works great. Um, it's awesome to have that big screen. You are able to rotate it. I did notice uh, certain apps that kind of took a while for them to rotate in this mode, but uh, I was able to do it. Uh, also with uh, YouTube, you are able to do full screen um, and you are able to rotate it, but some, like sometimes it was a little glitchy. There you go, so now it rotated. So the reason you'd want to do that is sometimes the bend in the middle can be a little distracting. So depending on what you're looking at, like, like a couple of times I was reading an article and it just kind of sucked having the bend, so I didn't turn it that way. 
So there's that. Uh, we do have on the side here the, the TV launch button or video launch button. So by going to the settings and right here, switch app for TV mode, if we just tap there, I can change what app launches when I hold down this button. Okay, so I'm gonna change it, for example, to Netflix. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Now, it's not a quick press. You do have to hold it for one second and then it will launch the TV mode. And Netflix actually does not support full screen, so it'll default you to a left or a right screen. So there's that. Um, for using the camera, it's super simple. You basically tap on the camera and depending on what side you're on, um, you just have to flip the phone. So if I'm gonna do front camera, I'm just gonna close it and the front camera's here. Guess what, I'm set up for selfies. Now if I hit rotate it, or basically hit the, the rotate camera button, all I do is just turn the phone over. And now I should have a camera, but I think I hit something in the process of turning it over. So you have to be a little careful with that. So camera, and just rotate it. And there it is. And now I'm able to use the rear camera. So just that easy. Um, you'll notice the navigation buttons do go away. So just swipe up from the top and then you can go right back home just like that. And then finally, if you hold down the home button, you will have your quick launch. Um, yeah, quick launch to Google services. So there's that, our Google Now, and you set that up and you'll be able to um, have all your Google Now options come up. And that's about it. I think those are kind of the main things I just wanted to show off is really how the split screen works, how you move apps and just like that's the part that's sort of a mystery when I first got it. I was like, oh, how do I actually navigate this phone? Well, those are the main things you need to know. And I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Check out my video as well, 10 reasons why you should get this phone. Um, it'll kind of let you know spec-wise uh, what it has under the hood and some other cool things that you need to know if this is the phone you're thinking about getting. Thanks for watching guys, like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Make sure you also uh, subscribe and uh, follow us on Instagram at HTTechVideos and have a good one.